Hello, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuning in to my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Now, for those of you who have the Mac Mini M1, you may realize that there are times when you, you just might want or need Windows. And let me show you how I went about installing Windows 11 uh, Professional on the Mac Mini M1. Uh, the whole process should take about uh, 30 minutes. I've got it down uh, very straightforward and simple. Um, just follow along on what you see here in the video. And, um, and then, of course, you'll have Windows 11 uh, Professional running on your Mac Mini M1 uh, whenever it is that you need Windows. So let's get right into it, okay? Okay, first thing you want to do is to download uh, the Windows 11 preview for the ARM processor. And so you, do, you see me doing the uh, internet search there. And, uh, and that link, download Windows Insider Preview, ARM64. Uh, you will need to sign in for the Windows Insider uh, program. It's free and you just, just use your Windows Live login. Um, okay, so uh, I went and clicked on the sign in and, and uh, go ahead and went and used my Microsoft email account. Okay, um, I select the most current of the uh, uh, previews, the current build 25247. Uh, confirm that. Uh, next thing, I'll select the language, English, it's the only choice anyway. Uh, confirm that, and, uh, and then of course uh, there's the link for download now. Um, the size of the file is uh, 10.52 gigabytes. And if your internet is decently fast, it, this should be downloaded in several minutes. Uh, you'll see me click on that link in just a moment so I can uh, see what the progress is. And there you see it's 10.52 gigabytes total size. Okay, uh, and it's a VHDX file. All you need to know about that is uh, that's really designed to be used with Microsoft's um, hypervisor uh, called a uh, Hyper-V, uh, but it does work. Now you see here the uh, 999, uh, it's worth it. Uh, now UTM is free, but if you want to install it, it's a manual process. You're going to have to know some Unix commands. It's going to, I mean, I'll put up a link, two links, so you can see two other people's approach for it if you want to. One kid did it and documented 44 steps. No, thank you. $9.99, it makes it automated and it gets automatic updates, which doesn't happen if you go through a manual installation. Uh, this works very well. And inside of about 40 minutes, you should have uh, Windows 11 running. Okay, so the uh, app has installed, so I'm going to go ahead and click open. Okay, and click on create a virtual machine. I'm going to virtualize, uh, so I'll select that option. Uh, Windows, I'm going to check that, import the VX, VHDX image. Uh, some people say that doesn't work with UTM. It does. Well, it does if you get the app for $9.99 for that nice bundled install. And that's the same file you saw me download earlier, the 10.52 gigabyte file. Um, memory is fine. Uh, cores, I set at four. Uh, I'm going to use the downloads folder as a shared folder between Windows and Mac OS. You can pick the folder you want. Uh, click continue. I'm going to open VM settings because uh, I do want to set the size of my file at 128 gigabytes. Um, I have a 
one terabyte uh, storage on my uh, Mac Mini M1. Although I do want to point out, you can't, you're locked into 64 gigabytes with that uh, preview. I've tried getting it to be bigger, I've tried to resize it, and all it did was corrupt the Windows OS. So I'm setting it at 128, so I have it ready, and I do believe at some point, um, the good folks with UTM will, will work it out so you can go ahead and resize the partition to a larger size. I just want everything in place for that. Okay, so it's starting Windows. Uh, that's that blue box. That's the UTM logo. And in a moment, you're going to see the Windows 11 installer kick in. It's going to look crappy because it doesn't have all the drivers installed yet, but good enough uh, to get this installed. There is one glitch with the installer. I'll show you what to do to get past it. Don't panic. It's two commands that you'll execute inside of Windows Command Shell, and it uh, make it real simple for you. It's easy. Uh, it's nothing like the manual installation where you're running all kinds of Unix commands. I don't have to do any of that. Uh, real easy here. Okay, let's see. Okay, the installer is kicking in now. Okay, good, good progress so far. If your mouse doesn't work inside this window, it may not, because um, it's not, it doesn't have all the drivers installed yet. Tab, you can use a tab key, that's what I did when the mouse didn't seem to respond quite as well. And uh, it's at this point that's coming up. Let's connect you to a network. Well, you don't, it doesn't pick up a network initially. It doesn't have the drivers for it. And um, you need, this is where we're going to enable uh, the installer to proceed without an internet connection. So I stopped the virtual machine for Windows 11 and I'm restarting it. Um, and that's so that I can get back to that point and, and then interrupt the uh, installation process to run those two itty bitty commands that will get things, uh, get Windows to install. Okay. Okay, so the, uh, we're back into the installer now. And you do have to do a Shift F10. Now on the Magic, Apple Magic uh, 2 keyboard, it's that globe with the FN for function, uh, Shift and F10. So it'll be uh, three keystrokes that you have to do to get a Shift F10. And that will make a uh, Windows command prompt appear. So I do that. And whammy, there's the command shell. And uh, I couldn't quite recall the name of the directory, so you don't have to do this part. Uh, this is me just jogging my memory uh, to see what the name of that directory is or folder. And it's the one OOBE. So you see me execute OOBE. That's the first of those two itty bitty commands you're gonna run. Second one, is the actual command that will let the installer uh, proceed without having an internet connection. And it's that one bypass NROCMD. You just gotta run that uh, off the command line. So you see me type it in, uh, NROCMD. And once I hit enter, the installer is gonna restart. Okay, so you see it restarting. And um, you'll see the uh, installer momentarily. And when I step through it and get back to that uh, internet connection screen, there'll be an option there to proceed without an internet connection. Okay. Uh, okay, the installer is... Uh, it's running again. Okay, so we'll step through with the uh, 
same as before, you know, uh, past the keyboard, skipping any additional layouts. And now it says, I don't have internet. So now you could tab to that and hit enter. And it uh, hit enter and accept. And type your name. This is to create an, a local login. Okay, and put the password in and confirm the password. Three security questions, I answered them, but for privacy reasons, I'm not displaying that. And uh, proceeding now. Okay, uh, Windows 11 is has installed and so now it's the um a few more minutes left i skipped through that part so you don't have to see that okay so the desktop has been created uh it looks so so the first thing i want to do is install the spice guest tools that has a bunch of drivers that utm has created and that's going to make this look great and it's going to make the internet work um uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Okay. Uh, once it's completed, you'll have to reboot and it'll prompt you for that anyway. There we are, okay. Reboot now, and uh, when it comes back up, it's gonna look real nice. And it loads pretty fast. Okay, so I type in the password to my local login account and there you have it Windows 11 running on your Mac Mini M1 uh, I will have another video showing uh, doing facial recognition I have a, a Windows Hello compatible webcam last thing I'm doing is simply changing the system name from the default. I have a naming convention that I follow. And of course, anytime you change the name of your uh, PC in Windows, it does require a reboot. I hope you appreciate the video. I believe I've come up with a far easier way to get this done than the other videos. You don't have to know Unix. You don't have to know regular expressions. You don't have to do all those commands from the bash shell. You don't even want to have to know any of that. And you don't have to. Uh, as long as you pay the $9.99, $9.99, it's well worth it. Uh, you get a whole lot of advantage to it. Hope you enjoy this. Please give me the like and subscribe. And everyone who subscribes to my channel, I will subscribe back. I counter subscribe uh, so that we help each other out. Thank you very much for watching my video and uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.